Good morning, grade two students. Welcome to a new lecture. Today we will be learning a new grammar and writing lesson. Our grammar lesson is about a statement and a question and how to use proper capitalization and end mark. We're going to watch a short video about a statement and a question. Let's start with statements. A statement is a sentence that tells something. It ends with a period. Most of the sentences we write are statements. Let's practice a few. I went to Austin this weekend. We traveled in a car and came to school early this morning. Let's move on to questions. A question is a sentence that asks something. It ends with a question mark. We use questions when we want to find an answer to something. Remember to always use a question mark with a question. Let's practice a few. Is this activity difficult? What is your favorite color? Do you have a pet? Throughout the rest of the week, remember these rules and use your statements and questions correctly. Sentence. What's a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that tells a complete thought or idea. It has a naming part and a telling part. Uh, it begins with a capital letter and ends with an ending mark. Example of a sentence is My dog is big. Uh, it begins with a capital letter and it ends with an ending mark. The naming part is my dog. The telling part is, uh, is big. My dog. My dog is big. I'm telling you that my dog is big. Statement. What's a statement? A statement is a sentence that tells something. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. Example of a statement is Sam. It begins with a capital letter. Uh, Sam hit the ball. So it's telling us that Sam hit the ball. And it uh, ends with a period. Question. A question, it's a sentence that asks something. Uh, it begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. Example of a question is, can you help me? I'm asking, can you help me? We can all see it begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. Mark. Let's practice. We have to write the correct end mark on the line. Sentence uh, number one. Will dad help you read the book? I'm asking. Will dad help you read the book? So what's the correct end mark? Is it a period or a question mark? I'm asking, so it's a question mark. Number two, who are your friends? I'm asking you, who are your friends? So it's a question. Number three, I ate dinner at Lisa's house. I'm telling you that I ate dinner where? At Lisa's house. So, it's a statement. Number four. Sam helped me rake the leaves. I'm telling you that Sam helped me rake the leaves. I'm not asking. So, it's a statement. Number five. Will you go to the movies with me? Will you? So, I'm asking you. 
Will you go to the movies with me? So it's a question. Let's fix it together. Fix the following sentences. Let's read them together. The first sentence. Can you help me? What's wrong with this sentence? What do you think? Mm. It begins with a small letter. Is there any end mark? Can you see any end mark? No. Is it a statement or a question? Can you help me? Yes, it's a question. And it should begin with a capital letter. Let's go to the second sentence. I can fix the bed. I'm telling you, I can fix the bed. I can see a period here, but the sentence didn't begin with a capital letter. So let's fix it. Great job, everyone. And don't forget the end mark. Let's start with our new writing lecture. We're going to learn how to write a narrative. Write a narrative with short sequence of events. What do I mean by the word sequence? I mean it can have a beginning, middle, and end. Uh, in, the, in the narrative writing, we share uh, our ideas by giving details uh, about one thing or um, event at a time to make the writing clear. Uh, it can have a problem and of course a solution. I have a special story It's something that will tell about me it's my personal narrative, it's my own history. I express my thoughts and feelings in the story that I share with you. Let's start our writing journey by coloring uh, the picture. The prompt, what do I mean by the word prompt? Prompt is a word or two or a very short phrase uh, that sets uh, your mind off on a journey that inspires you. Uh, let's write a fantasy about superhero friends. What do I mean by fantasy? I'm sure we still all remember. Fantasy has imaginary characters that could not be real. So let's write a fantasy about superhero friends. In your story, describe an event where one friend helps the other friend. At the beginning of our writing, um, you have to ask yourself, uh, what are your characters' names? So. What, number one, what are your characters' names? Uh, I chose uh, Thunder and Lightning. Number two, what are their superpowers? Thunder controls noise while Lightning controls light. Where do they live? The setting of the story. The place. Uh, they live uh, in the floating city above the clouds. As we all know, it's a fantasy, so it's a story that could not be real. In the middle of our writing, what happened one day? One day, the mayor of Dark City under the sea needed help. Okay, what was the problem? How was the problem solved? Uh, you have to predict what will happen. You can finish the writing orally or uh, draw a picture and send it to me. I will discuss your ideas uh, during Zoom. 
and we will practice uh, writing like this when we get back to school soon. At the end, you also have to predict how did Lightning react to his friend's help. He was thankful, uh, he got angry, so use your imagination. Don't forget the title of your writing, Thunder and Lightning. Of course, my students, we will practice uh, writing like this. Um, we will practice writing like this when we get back to school. Uh, let's read the beginning of our writing. Thunder and lightning are friends. Thunder controls noise and lightning controls light. They live in the floating city above the clouds. One day, the mayor of dark city under the sea needed help. And now you have to predict what will happen. Take your reader on a magic carpet.